What's your most unpopular opinion? I think that if LeBron came before Jordan, there wouldn't even be an argument about who was better. So you're talking about if LeBron had the career that he had, let's say in the 70s, and then Jordan came in the 84? That's, that's what she's saying. I ain't gonna lie, LeBron putting up dumb, stupid numbers in the 70s. There ain't nobody stopping LeBron in the 70s, bro. That's not happening. I see where she coming from. It be Mickey, but I see where she coming from. If you got LeBron in the 70s, he probably has more finals wins. Sounds crazy, but he probably does. I disagree. I feel like, especially if we're talking about how people discuss this right now, yo, bro, motherfuckers will be saying LeBron played in a weak-ass era. LeBron dominated the 70s, and Jordan did what he did in the 80s and 90s. People will say, yo, Jordan dominated in a stronger era. Yeah, that's actually just straight up true. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I, th I think the conversation would be more interesting if she swapped them like we did in this fist. Like, nah, but if she swapped them, <laughs> then uh, I think that'd be a, a more intriguing conversation. But yeah, nah, if it's just LeBron dominating a weaker era, I'm 100% with you. Be case in point, Will Chamberlain and Bill Russell. So Here are five of my NBA hot takes that I guarantee will make people angry. Mm, hot take okay. number one. Tim Duncan is better than Kobe all time, and it's not even close. Not I made a video close. a couple months ago explaining it, hey. but that's one that always gets people angry for Wild some reason. anger because not, <laughs> not even close. Hot take number two. said not even close. Look at his top ten. He got Tim Duncan at seven. Kobe at ten. Oh, actually, he's not even ten. He's 11. <laughs> Four spots. <laughs> All right, bro. Not close. Now watch him respond. I actually have Kobe at 18. <laughs> Actually, buddy, I was watching the Souls of Sage video, and this stupid do rag boy. And first of all, you're canceled. <laughs> 18, actually. Anthony Edwards and the Minnesota Timberwolves are the most underrated team and player in the NBA, in my opinion. Underrated? With the exception of one game, they went toe to toe with the I... champs every single night, even one I game. I don't see underrated. Despite not having kind of know what they are. Hot take. No, I think underrated. Carmelo Anthony is one of the most overrated players of That's all not time. Even uncommon he turned the ball over way too much that. and was wildly yeah. inefficient. <laughs> while still being I, th I think the pendulum's swinging back. He's underrated. He's underrated. Um, my side on time, and he's underrated now because everyone keeps saying he's overrated. If, it, if we go to the comment section, and a lot of them, no, nah, Sage, he's overrated, and it has 2,000 likes on it, guess what, dingus? He's actually underrated. Like, if, if the pot, like, come on, bro, it's simple math, nigga. I think most underrated team, though, to go back to the other one, Um, I ain't gonna lie, pendulum swinging again. The Heat are underrated again. I don't, I don't know what I to tell you. I actually agree. We are I, back I think... to square one. I agree, because the Heat have had such a you-didn't-do-shit offseason. People act like this isn't a team that been to the conference finals. I think damn near four straight times. This, this is going to be a team. The Heat are still going to be a team. I don't have them winning again, but they're still going to be a team. They lost Gabe Vincent and Max Struess. Tyler Hero was not there the whole playoff run, so he replaces exactly. one of them pretty easily. And then they got Josh Richardson, I, I believe. They got uh, Jaime Jaquez. You know what I'm saying? RJ Hampton. Wanna be, uh, apparently, they got this G League dude that's been averaging 20 this preseason. Right. Here so, we go. Oh, yeah. I seen, I seen you tweet. Yeah, here, here we go. go. It's Caleb always Martin that one There's man. always that one dude, bro. <laughs> God. God. Them, Golden State, and to a lesser degree, even y'all. Y'all are S tier at just getting some random motherfucker off the street, and he's him, bruh. Very good player all time. I still think he's very overrated. Hot take number four. Larry Bird would average 30 a night in this era. I also made a video on this a little while back. Mm. But for some reason, Larry cool Bird's 26, one of the most cool hated 26. on Legends. Yeah, he, he, but he, he was more this era. We would call sure. him a 30-point per score. Take but number yeah. five. The 2004 Pistons have the most impressive ring of all time. They completely shut down Shaq and Kobe, two of the most prolific scorers in NBA history. And six foot nine Ben Wallace destroyed Shaq for five games straight. I think people would agree if their road to the finals is harder. Yeah, I'm about to say. Because I think one of those Rockets teams legitimately face a 60-win team every single round. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> one of them was 59. Yeah. Ugh, what the fuck? Like, yeah, the Rockets have a convo. I, I'll casuals on timing, but not for the timing that they talk about. The Mavericks have a good conversation because they people don't talk about how they packed Kobe the fuck up. I yeah. mean, damn. I think another one and a next gen one. I'm not gonna lie. When you really think about it, that Jokic kind of stop. Bro. Stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Stop, stop. Recency bias hey, on 10, hey, Relax. Hey, Relax. I'm just saying, sweeping the Lakers, getting past KDD book, Paul to a lesser degree, and who they beat in the first round? And then they beat a fucking uh, Miami in the yeah, finals? Yeah, yeah, Miami. Come on, dog. Just saying, bruh. Just saying. L. Dixon. That's not for L. Dixon because it's not Boston. Oh Got it. Oh, my God. <laughs> If they face Boston, I'm, I'm gonna be on. You know what I'm saying? I right. fucking bet, bro, <laughs> man. Not too much on the Heatles. Stop, they're not the Heatles. Stop, bro. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Don't call. Don't call Jimmy Bam and Gabe Vincent the Heatles, bro. Say this. He said, "Y'all keep calling players bust, but we aren't holding the people making these picks accountable." And I always say, "You were set behind." The moment you got drafted. Okay. There's absolutely no way Philadelphia should have drafted you. <laughs> look at, look at him in terms of... It goes back to what we were talking about earlier. Uh, <laughs> was I, I actually thought I was nice. First. <laughs> I thought I was going to kill the game. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> I thought they were sleeping on me. I thought I was top high. <laughs> <laughs> we talk about Philly a lot. They got new ownership, new management, so I'm comfortable with saying this now. I didn't realize until I left that we the, the organization wasn't trying to win. So what do you do in that scenario? You, you got to be selfish, right? Because now you said it's a survival. I got to eat. I'm going in my contract year. And 10 to 15 teams are doing that on any given year. Yeah. But they're mad at the players yeah. for going out there trying to get their numbers. And publicly saying, oh, we're about to tank. You go up to Sam Hinkie and it's like, yo, I've been working my whole career to battle to get here. Yeah. I give a fuck about winning. I called that mod and said, yo, should I leave? And go overseas and try. Like, I didn't know what to do. I was like, bro, I can't go and we're not oh, trying wow. to win. I was at home crying. Oh, wow. You're telling you, man. Show up. I'm like, yo, Sam, I'm going to talk to you about my future. Shout out to Sam okay. You have a whatever, like, it's business. I got five minutes for you to talk about my fucking future. So when we start talking about certain love. I would love to do that. But when we enter all this stuff, it's a business of basketball that you forget about. Was that, my, my only question would be, was that Philly when Evan Turner got drafted? Because for those who don't remember, in twenty, he got drafted in 2010, 11? He was, I think, in the wall class, ain't he? Yeah, yeah he, was, he was second pick after John Wall. So it was 2010, right? The Sixers had Iguodala. I think they got Drew Holiday a couple years later. To say that they weren't trying to win back, they, they were rebuilding. But that era was completely different from the Nerlens Noel, Joel Embiid, Jaleel Okafor era, in my opinion. I ain't gonna lie. It's not like they didn't try with Evan Turner. I think they tried. It's just Evan Turner was not that guy, which is fine, which is fine. But, you know. It's a checks and balances to it, but these organizations and that tanking shit, I'm 100% on the player side. Y'all treat shit like it's 2K. These are human beings who live their whole life trying to compete, losing. That's why I even disagree with Gilly, and he he could drop me off. But I disagree with that shit, too, because you're telling me from age, age out the womb to age 40, you've been focused on one sport, and you're going to tell me that you're copacetic with not winning in the sport. All right, bro. And when you sit there as well, you remember at the level of being bust. The unknown is scared. I don't think you were a bust, Evan. I don't think I was a bust, but like I'm talking about you starting off at the level of like yeah, yeah, yeah. how quick you yeah, go. But like the unknown of being on that, on that level is scary and being like, yo, which way are we going to go? So when sometimes when it comes to that certain level of like trying to trust people or trust adults that are supposed to guide you in the right direction, and I'm not the only one this has happened to in the sense of like not even being like, oh, Miss Kyder or none of that because I ended up in the NBA, but it's just like, no, you're going to naturally protect yourself. When you break a bone or get hurt, that shit is going to swell up and try to protect whatever else yeah. is coming around. That's your instinct of Darwinism. And then when you go up mm. and start talking to people that have no clue about fucking basketball over something you risked your whole life for and you care about it, and they're worried about some dude named Wiggins three years down the line. And, you know, you know oh, what I'm shit. saying? And we start <laughs> nah, we're talking shit. about a lot of shit, but I'm talking that, about the that's human That's how wild to say That's what you get paid yeah. for, yeah. not yeah. being yeah. human. Yes. No, that, that's fair, though. That's the, I know that's true, because that's how niggas do these online leagues in 2K, bro. They'll be a bad team and be like, who was in 96? Oh, okay. Uh, 93, 94, 95? I don't give a fuck. I'm waiting for that 96 draft. So I know these niggas in real life doing that shit. That's just tough. I ain't even got no further 
commentary. It's tough. But yeah, punting on certain drafts, but like you know for a fact you can't start winning because you know you want to set yourself up for two years down the line when Victor comes in. That's kind of fucked. Drafted a nigga second just to say yeah, it isn't. You. I'm trolling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trolling. No cap, bro. J- I feel like James Wiseman was one of those picks, dog. It was just people were telling me no, Sage. James Wiseman's him. So I unfortunately do think he's a bust. But yeah, that's the one miss of the Golden State Warriors, um, modern era Warriors. I think nah, you should have. Taking Lamelo or traded the pick, in my personal opinion. But if they got Ant, bro, I'm, I'm really thinking about it, bro. Ant oh, yeah, would be Ant the was most available. Perfect. I'm tripping. Yeah, yeah, yeah I would have said Ant. He would have been the, like I'm, I'm literally because um apparently like Steve Kerr is a really big fan of him in Team USA. Even even if you look at the weaknesses that this team has, they need an on ball playmaker. They need a, a secondary scorer. They need an on ball defender. Like Ant literally fits that for this team. I think you definitely looking back and it times like you definitely overestimated how long Clay Thompson. Be yeah. You overestimated mm-hmm. that crazy. You take Ant there, ha- even have him on the bench for all I care. You'd been straight. Is that shit in the comments? Oh, <laughs> seeing this makes me appreciate the Thunder front office even more. <laughs> That's so tough, bro. Shout out to Chet, man. Shout out to Thunder front office. I, I fuck with what they got going on. I think they in the offs. You're just lucky they didn't get a high draft pick this year, buddy. Because listen, <laughs> <laughs> hey, if Vic was out there, they're moving oh. on. Hey, you know what I'm just saying. Oh no! Saying, so man. don't start that. Should they put Chet at the four? Chetty and Vic. They act like two legends cannot coexist. They do. That's the point. That's that's the point. Listen, I think you can, <laughs> but hey, all right. This is fucked up, man. You NBA hot take. Tim Duncan is a better player all time than Kobe Bryant. Damn, again? It's a hot take. It's not a hot take. At this point, y'all gonna like up the Kobe overrated comment. Almost like he's not overrated at all. Almost like he's actually underrated. Continue. So Westbrook is about all time PG than Steph Curry. All time better point guard than Steph Curry. He's just stuck yeah. in 2017. He's into the rim. Yeah, and he averaged like a triple double as well. So yeah. nah. if you take the accolades, <laughs> right? Remove the names to say player A and player B, you'd always choose Tim Duncan. I hate it. Yeah, this nigga is really stuck in 2017. This all your NBA hot take. My NBA hot take is that the process was never a thing. The process was never a thing. They was never going to make it anywhere. Joel Embiid can't lead the team. Oh, ben shit. Simmons wasn't the missing piece. <laughs> he wasn't the issue. He was never the issue. Ben Simmons, I know he'll make a comeback, and I know he'll be great. As a hooper. Mm. Yeah, he might be cooking, though. He might be cooking. I ain't going to lie. He might be two for two. I'm not going to push the agenda. I got my own Ben Simmons. Uh, yeah, I went from 0% I, I faith. I went from 0% faith to, all right, 15. <laughs> all right, I'm interested. I'll turn the channel on. One episode. And also, how James Harden been looking? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're fucked. <laughs> no, we never talked about it. Listen, he complained about, yo, Daryl, why did you give me my contract? Do, do you deserve it? <laughs> yeah, and then that's my problem, man, because I'm all for player freedom, but James. <laughs> James. You cry, you crying over a wink wink do? deal that you honestly don't even do- come on dog. Jeez, like this is just not now we just nasty man. I know what it's like when someone puts you down. It's really when you get into a slump, it's really hard to get out of. Yeah. And forgetting your whole jump shot is a real thing, man. Yeah. He and never had one. He never you, had. and then you got your teammate, your brother in arms that you you're, never you're tried. depending on. Draw you out in front of millions of people. That's a bit crazy, man. That's your boy, man. That's your boy. That's your MVP, man. I don't know. No, I feel, hey, Johnny Brown, twenty twenty four, man. Hey, here to hit first, man. Put your bets down and everything, man. Trust me, man. Ride on that Safe one. Safe bet. I agree. Safe bet. I ain't gonna lie. He didn't have that bad hot takes. The only thing I disagree with, I mean, obviously the Russ and Kobe things, but that's just my personal opinion. But the main one, I ain't gonna lie. I think the process exists. It just fucking failed. Okay, so would you rather have Andre Iguodala's career or Carmelo Anthony's career? And this poll, Andre Iguodala won. I get why. I don't agree. Okay, yeah, Carmelo Anthony doesn't have a ring, but everybody's going to view him as a better player all time. He's going to get into the Hall of Fame, and Andre Iguodala isn't. He made more money in his career. You understand how sick it would be to be prime Carmelo Anthony playing in New York? That'd be sweet. Andre Iguodala has, like, a lot of really cool accolades. He's a very good player. But you also have to remind yourself that Carmelo Anthony, if he had, like, won a ring in his prime, he would have been the best player on a championship team. Andre Iguodala has rings contributed to him, but he was on a championship team. He didn't lead it. Those two things are different. And everyone remembers his finals MVP as like one he took from Steph. So I'd rather be Carmelo. Give me the money and the Hall of Fame career and the prime in New York over the rings. 
Plus, Carmelo Anthony did win a natty, so there's that. <laughs> Iggy and Melo's pretty close in terms of who I'm taking. I think I think you got an easy decision, but for me, it's kind of close. It's kind of close. How much money has Andre Iguodala made in his career? That's exactly what I'm saying. So it's 262 million versus 185 million for those who are about the dollars. Okay, 262 versus 185. I know Andre Iguodala also has off court investments as well. We was a part of one shot at the locker room. Carmelo also has off court investments. So I'm listen. <laughs> No, this is a tough one. I ain't gonna lie. This is it ain't to me. I ain't gonna lie. You're telling me player A has made a hundred eighty plus million in his career and he got rings? Listen, I'm a simple guy, bro. <laughs> if you can give me all that bread <laughs> With less scrutiny. And I was still good. Because it's not like Iggy was a bum. Let's not get it twisted. And I got a finals MVP. And I got what? Like three, four rings? Yeah. I, I'd, I'd honestly rather have Iggy's career. To be honest with you. I know I was just making the argument for taking the ring in that regard. But in those conversations, we were talking strictly dollar amount. We're not talking popularity, difference, none of that. Skill difference, none of that. They, they, those arguments, I want to say. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I want to say those arguments are literally, you're the same player. It's just one, you get $100 million more dollars and don't win the other one you just like you get 100 less but win this situation is different because i ain't gonna say iggy ain't nice Iggy is nice look do your ghouls he's nice but shit mellow is a dog mellow is like a he like a york legend bro like denver is kind of chopped because of the yoke and shit but in new york mellow is damn near a legend in fact i would go as far as say he is a legend so Ah, being the face of New York for a cool bit is that's saying a lot, hard. Bro. That's is, yeah. hard, bro. Yeah. And another thing is telling chat. Like I said, I didn't emphasize it enough. But like when we were googling the career earnings, I had to go on the NBA Sport Racker, whatever the shit is for Iggy Mellow. One Google search is right there. <laughs> so, so it's it's levels to it. So you'd rather be Kyson that than Iggy then? Let me check. Let me check. <laughs> that be nasty. <laughs> Since you want to be the face of New York so bad. <laughs> Yo, did you check that comment section? Yo, they are skulking niggas for that shit, bro. Um, I think by a hair, I'll still say Iggy because I think in 2015, niggas did just respect the holy shit out of it. I think they overrated, but niggas respect the shit out of it. So I feel like I'm good there in terms of my notoriety. And yes, it's a clown thing. Get over it. But Mellow, man, I, I could literally see this video uploaded scroll in the comments and one of you could convince me to take mellow or i would just be on mellow side already let me know what you think i'm actually i'm torn gun to my head gun to the back of my head in fact here you go oh my god iggy yeah uh, <laughs> but hey it's it's close it's close I, I think that's the problem with this conversation what motherfuckers want to be so extreme with it because i think this is actually a, a a better conversation but people are dead ass talking about this conversation like we're saying yo would you rather be carmelo anthony or patrick mccall all right bro he was like essentially a 20 point per game score even an all-star in 2012 he wasn't like the the nicest bag talk nigga but he was a two-way wing they can give you 17 a night easy and pretty efficient at it as well so it's tough you weren't no fucking mellow at putting the ball in the net though <laughs> so uh, shit. let us know in the Fuck. comment section what y'all think it's it's a good debate though with that being said we'll catch you on the next one peace out man peace